everyone, and welcome to the Peddling Prince's Podium. I'm your host, John Nardelli, and today I'm at the Utter Delight Ice Cream Caboose in Little Bredore for Going the Distance for Diabetes. Going the Distance for Diabetes is a fundraiser tour for cyclists, walkers, and joggers to create awareness of diabetes in our communities and to raise much needed revenue for research, education, service, and advocacy. Vic Guthrow, whose son Scott was diagnosed with diabetes at the age of 15, is one of the organizers of the event. This is our eighth year for this event. Uh, we got involved with it many years ago as a committee because we felt there was a need uh, in the community to heighten the awareness uh, about the need for a healthy and active lifestyle to help control uh, your diabetes and certainly perhaps delay the onset of type 2 diabetes. So we've had a good turnout over the years. Uh, Velo Cape Breton has been uh, excellent in their support. We've had a uh, tremendous number of uh, folks from Velo each year supporting this event and we've had uh, great support from local uh, community sponsors uh, to help us uh, provide the food and beverage for the uh, for the event as well. Uh, Bill over at Framework has been providing us with the top prize for eight years now on a new bicycle. So we certainly appreciate Bill and his effort. We're blessed with a great sunny day today again and I hope everybody enjoys the ride. Going the Distance for Diabetes is a fun event designed for anyone who wishes to participate. You have a choice of 25 or 50 kilometer bicycle rides or, if you prefer, you can walk or jog a six kilometer route. It is not a race. All participants enjoy themselves going at whatever pace and whatever distance is comfortable. There are frequent rest stops with refreshments along the way. Also this year, live entertainment was provided by the Pub Boys, a local group who play a blend of traditional, East Coast and original tunes. I caught up with them for a few words between sets. Well, the reason we started with just the two of us, myself and Gordy Parsons, we connected through church, uh, through being with church choirs and, and other church events. As uh, Gordy and I wanted to expand a bit, we uh, reached out to uh, Sean, uh, Sean Bigley, to uh, join us. I had uh, played with him in choirs uh, before. Many gigs, we bring in a guest to Sean McDonald and, and, uh, Stewart and Donald as well used to get those guys when they were available. So then we decided to, uh, that we needed a full time film. So then we contacted Matthew Earhart. Uh, I remember hearing him through, again, church events at um, concerts that we were doing at St. Anne's uh, Perry Center. And I remember him playing there, so I uh, invited him in to see if he'd be interested in joining us. So we started uh, as a four piece routine. Uh, about three years ago and basically continued to work on it since then. And, and about a year and a half, two years ago, we started working on a CD and finally uh, it seems like it's uh, actually uh, all the studio work and everything's done. Uh, we're just finalizing the artwork on the CD cover and we should have it delivered to them uh, very soon, I hope. As a type 2 diabetes sufferer myself, this is a cause close to my heart. It is more than just a fundraiser for diabetes research. It's a great day for family and friends to get together, have fun, get some exercise and fresh air, and hopefully help improve quality of life for all diabetes sufferers. Thank you for watching the Peddling Princess Podium. I'm your host, John Ardelli. And I hope to see you all again here next week. Bye for now.